guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. A few years back, I created this French cleat system that has actually worked out pretty well, but I think I can turn it up a notch. And in this video, we're going to do just that. So stick around. So I actually decided to go with, um, these are actually French cleats still. I used the ones that were already there. Um, and because mine isn't 16, well it is 16 on center, but because I couldn't get it 16 on center because of the, the um, fuse panel, I decided to reuse the same strips I already had and uh, went up perfect. And plus, with the center being French cleat, I can still add some French cleat accessories in the middle if I choose to. So... But uh, these went up really well, they're super strong, and let's add some accessories to it. All right, so that's kind of the idea behind uh, setting this thing up. I have, uh, I basically moved everything I had on my bench, which you can see is only just the accessories that I have left over, on to the wall. Um, so a couple things to note that's actually kind of nice is because the panels are metal, you can use uh, magnetic hooks and stuff to hang certain things. And then also because of the holes, you can use standard uh, pegboard accessories. So like this basket uh, isn't from wall control, but it's just something I had laying around that I decided to use. In fact, I have another one that's a little bit bigger, but because it works on pegboard, it'll work on the wall control boards. Um, I really like how this came out. Now I left the center, uh, like I said, as a uh, French cleat system. And I'll probably redo this screw holder because I need a lot more space to hold all the screws I have. And I've had to tuck a few of them up here already. But uh, I'm going to continue on and add a, uh, probably a board here. And then I also, I'm, I'm debating if I want to put a board over here or not. Uh, I kind of like how that system is working over there. So I don't know if I want to change that up. Um, last resort, I might actually put a board over here on the back side of the CNC just for some of the accessories. But let's, uh, let's continue on and... Yeah. There you have it guys hopefully that gives you some ideas on ways to help organize your shop uh, i want to thank wall control for sending me uh, these kits to kind of play around with and honestly i'm pretty impressed with them um, one of the cool things about these hooks is when it hooks in the top it has a little notch on the bottom so once you slide it in it kind of locks itself in place some of them are a little finicky i will admit but uh it, it works out pretty well and the other cool thing about the wall control walls is that you can use standard pegboard stuff if you choose to so if there's something that you don't find on their website and you want to use something say like the talon uh, hooks they work out pretty well as uh, as well but some of the ones that I really like the kits that I like that came from wall control is the uh, the paper towel holder turned out really well um, the uh, like a spray can uh, holder worked out really well. And then right underneath it is a bin with all of my drill bits and stuff like that. And that really helped me get organized because I had drill bits everywhere. So it really worked out well. So I hope you guys liked the, uh, the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you 
next time.